Say goodbye to dried out ham. Making ham in the Instant Pot is the best method. Hey guys, I'm Kristen from A Mindful Mom, and I love to get into the kitchen and share with you easy recipes your family will love. And I love my Instant Pot. And today I'm sharing with you a game changer. This recipe is for Instant Pot ham, and it is the perfect way to cook ham. Ham that you purchase at the grocery store has already been pre-cooked. So all you need to do is warm it up. And oftentimes, if you warm it in the oven, it'll get dried out. And that's the last thing we want. That's why you'll often see hams baked in bags in the oven, and that's to trap all that moisture in with the ham. But we don't need to do that with the Instant Pot. We can make a ham perfectly right in our Instant Pot in a fraction of the time, saving our oven for all the side dishes. This recipe is incredible and it's so easy. We're gonna make a homemade glaze of just three ingredients that is better than any packet that those hams come with. So, to get started, you need to purchase the ham. I recommend a spiral sliced ham. It's easier to cut, it's prettier for presentation, and it cooks a little bit faster. You want a boneless or bone-in ham. Boneless hams will fit a lot easier inside your Instant Pot. For the six quart Instant Pot, you can use anywhere from a three to a five pound ham on your trivet and up to a six pound ham without the trivet. For the eight quart, you can do a little bit larger. I really love to cook my ham on a trivet so that I can wrap it in foil and seal in the glaze inside the ham. But stay tuned, if your ham doesn't fit on the trivet, I'll walk you through how to cook your ham without using the trivet or the foil. To start, pour in one and a half cups of cold water. Place your trivet inside your Instant Pot. Next, you wanna unwrap your ham and place on to heavy duty foil, making sure that the foil will cover the entire ham. Place your ham and the foil right on the trivet, pulling up the sides of the foil. Next, we're gonna to whisk together our simple honey glaze. This is just three ingredients, pineapple juice, honey, and brown sugar. You can certainly add in a little bit of Dijon mustard, a little cinnamon and ground cloves if your family likes. My family prefers this really super simple, so I just leave it with the three ingredients. Whisk the pineapple juice, honey, and brown sugar together. Use your fingers to separate the slices of the ham and pour the glaze over the ham in between the slices. Wrap the foil up securely around the ham. Place your lid on your Instant Pot. Be sure your vent knob is pointed towards sealed. And then we're gonna cook our ham. Remember, your ham is already cooked, so all we're doing is warming it through. The perfect temperature for ham is between 140 and 150 degrees. So to reach that temperature, you're going to cook spiral sliced ham for two minutes per pound. If your ham is unsliced, use three minutes per pound. But there's a catch. We have to account for the foil we wrapped our ham in, and that's going to add an additional 10 minutes of cook time. So today, my ham weighed four pounds. To cook my ham, I'm going to do two minutes per pound, or two times four, which is eight minutes, and then I'm going to add an additional 10 minutes to account for the foil, for a total of 18 minutes on high pressure. To set the cook time, hit manual or pressure cook and use the plus or minus buttons to adjust until it reads 18. Once cook time has elapsed, let pressure release naturally. It's really important to let your pressure release naturally because if we do a quick release, our ham could seize up and that's a great tip for any time you're cooking meat. Don't use quick release. You don't want your meat to be tough, so let your meat Rest in your Instant Pot as the pressure releases naturally. Once pressure has released, remove the lid from your Instant Pot and use a digital thermometer to test the temperature of your ham. Remember, we want it between 140 and 150 degrees. If it hasn't reached that temperature, place your lid back on your Instant Pot and cook for an additional couple minutes. 
Remove your ham from the Instant Pot and carefully discard the cooking juices into a measuring cup. I'll show you how to make a glaze with them here at the end of the video. Place your ham on a cutting board and let rest while the glaze cooks up. Remember I shared with you that I would teach you how to make ham in your Instant Pot if it doesn't fit on the trivet. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your ham fits in the Instant Pot. Place in the wrapper, in the pressure cooker, and make sure the lid fits on. If it does, unwrap your ham and place in the pressure cooker. Add in one and a half cups of pineapple juice. Do not add honey or brown sugar as this may cause a burn warning. Place your lid on your Instant Pot and we're gonna cook for two minutes per pound if it's a sliced ham and three minutes per pound if it's unsliced. We do not need to add an additional 10 minutes because there's no foil to account for. And again, you're gonna let pressure release naturally and then test the temperature of your ham. You want it to be between 140 and 150 degrees. Remove the ham from the Instant Pot and place on a serving platter. Press saute on your Instant Pot and let the cooking juices warm up. Add in a half of a cup of honey and a half a cup of brown sugar to the cooking juices. Next, mix together a cornstarch slurry. Use 1 fourth cup water to one tablespoon cornstarch and whisk well. Add that to the bubbling cooking juices and let that cook for three to five minutes until thick and syrupy. Serve the juices over the sliced ham. If you use the foil method at this time, you would pour the cooking juices into the clean instant pot. Hit saute, whisk up your cornstarch slurry and add to the cooking juices and saute until thick and syrupy. And that's it. You guys, this is a game changer. This Instant Pot makes the best ham ever. And the glaze with the pineapple juice, pineapple juice is my secret ingredient. Just like it makes incredible Instant Pot chicken breast, it makes an out of this world ham. I hope that you guys give this recipe a try. And for this recipe and more Instant Pot recipes, be sure to visit amindfulmom.com. Happy cooking.